My brethren, count it all joy when ye fall into divers temptations, knowing this, that the trying of your faith worketh patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask of God, that giveth to all men liberally, and upbraideth not, and it shall be given him. But let him ask in faith, nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind, and tossed. For let not that man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. Faith is the very heart of our Christian life. It's how we are saved, receive forgiveness for our sins, enjoy a personal relationship with God, and have assurance of eternal life in His presence. By faith, we experience the peace of God in the power of the Holy Spirit. Yet at times, our life and prayers are plagued by doubts. Our faith wavers when we apply human thinking to our circumstances. Sometimes God may require us to do something with which human reasoning disagrees. Our faith wavers when we allow our feelings to overcome our faith. Perhaps feelings of unworthiness, fear, or inadequacy causes us to doubt we can do what the Lord has asked of us. We waver in our faith when we fail to see God at work in our circumstances. Our doubts creep in when we have asked Him to take action, but nothing appears to be happening at the moment. We waver when we have guilt over sin, past or present. We cannot operate with strong faith when we are mindful of ongoing sin or dwelling on guilt over past wrongdoings. But we must always remember that faith is defined as the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things unseen. So my friends, no matter what your circumstances are, what you may feel, or what your human mind is telling you, even if you're wrestling with past or even present sin, let your heart rest in and trust God no matter how you feel or think. Just know that God is faithful and worthy of our trust and confidence in Him. Overcome your doubts with trust. Trust in the Lord and lean not to your own understanding, but trust the Lord in all things. May God bless and keep you, my friends, in Jesus' holy and precious name. Amen.